Well, I didn't start out in agriculture. Um, I'm a girl from suburban New Jersey, and just like every other consumer out there, I was pretty disconnected when it came to knowing where my food came from. You go to the store, you buy your groceries, you take them home, you put them in your pantry, and that's how food gets to your table. Since a very young age, I was exposed to a very humble farm, but it was a farm that had all types of animals. We had chickens, we had cows. It was hard for me to comprehend with the amount of productivity in this small, humble farm, how was it that there could be hungry people around the world? So I took a special interest in trying to figure out the rest of my life of how to be very productive and produce an abundance of food for everyone. Consumers had really a, a lot of growing concerns about where their food was coming from, and, and rightfully so. Was it healthy? Um, and how did we treat the environment? Um, were the animals protected? And, and farmers had growing concerns about limited resources with the growing population. You know, uh, as farmers, we, we got to remember that we're only 2% of the population, and 98% of our population really doesn't have the exposure to farms like us farmers would like them to have. And, and uh, it's important that, that we open up our farms and allow people to see what we do. The farming community is such a small percentage anymore of the total population um, that it's important that we embrace it and open ourselves up so the public can come and talk to a farmer, can see what a real modern day farm looks like and, and how it works. And they can see how we take care of the land and how we take care of our cows. Uh, really, in order to earn the trust of today's consumers, we need to feed their curiosity. Manure is our obviously big waste. We have a lot of cows, so we have a lot of manure. How are you going to take that waste and turn it into a resource? We have been able to take two million gallons of diesel, a fossil fuel, off the roads, which equates to 12 million miles of trucks running up and down different freeways and delivering our milk to market, and do 100% of that with cow poop. That's what drives down carbon footprint, and that's why we were able to have half and even less than the average carbon footprint on a gallon of milk in, the, in, in this country and around the world. Today's consumer is really concerned about what's happening in the environment. They're looking for people who care about what they care about, and they want to make sure that when they spend their dollar, they're spending it with individuals that are doing their best. We can do that. We can reach that. And we can reach that without cutting down one more tree, while cleaning up all of our streams, while cutting our emissions, and at the same time, making an abundant amount of food that is healthy, that is safe, and is affordable for all. To be a farmer is truly an act of passion because there's no one who cares for the land, for their animals, and for the safety and affordability of food they produce for not only their family's dinner table, but for their neighbors as well. Fair Oaks Farms is a place where our guests can have all of their questions, can have all of their concerns answered with complete transparency. It's where they can make the connection between a farmer and the food in their refrigerator.